Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Fei from Blue Tree Education Learning Center. Have you seen a Chinese coin? Now take a look at this shape. There is a square in the center of a circle. This is a typical question that the primary six pupils will tend to see during exams. Now the pupils have learned the formula of the circle, which is pi r squared. They have also learned the formula of a square, which is length times breadth. But the interesting part is that they are not able to apply the formula they have learned into this question. So how are we going to solve this question? Let me show you how. Let's take a look at this question. It looks like the Chinese coin, which has a square in the middle of the circle. However, this square is actually touching the circumference of the entire circle. The figure shows this square within a circle and the diameter of the circle is 14 cm and you are required to find the unshaded area of the figure. To find the unshaded area, most pupils will be able to answer circle minus square. We have learned the formula that the circle is pi r square and the square is actually length times breadth. Unfortunately, this question is not as simple as it seems because the length and breadth of the square is not given. Hence, we will need to use some other ways to find the area of the square. Take a look at the line drawn. It actually cuts the square into triangles. So there are four triangles, but I'll just like you to focus on one triangle over there. In order to find the area of that triangle is half times base times height. So we know the diameter is 14 cm, which means that the radius is 14 cm divided by 2, which is equals to 7 cm. So to find the area of the circle is 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 equals to 154 square centimeters. So this is the easy part that is settled. We found the area of the circle. Now we need to find the area of the square. The area of the square is made up of four triangles. And I just need you to focus on only one triangle because we are very familiar with this formula of half times 7 times 7. And since there are four triangles in a square, we will multiply it by four. And the answer is 98 square centimeters. To find the area of the unshaded area of this figure, you will take 154, which is the area of the circle, minus the area of the square. So 154 minus 98 will give you the answer. Now let's take a look at the method two. To find the area of the unshaded area of the figure, I will cut the diagram into two parts. Just take a look at the red line that I've drawn. So you can see that there is a quadrant that is made up of a red shaded portion and a blue triangle. So a quadrant is actually a quarter of a circle. So before we find the quadrant, let's check on the formula which is quarter pi r square. We need a radius, so let's take the diameter, divide by 2, and you get 7 cm. The area of the quadrant is 1 quarter times pi times r times r. So the answer is 77 over 2 square centimeters. To find the area of the triangle, we'll take half times base times height. And the base and height happen to be the radius. So half times 7 times 7 and you get 49 over 2 square centimeters. The area of the unshaded region, which is that red section, is 4 sets. To find the area of the unshaded region, we will take the area of the quadrant minus the area of the triangle, and you will get that red section, but we need to multiply by 4 because there are 4 of them all around. So 77 over 2 minus 49 over 2, and you multiply by 4 will give you the answer 56 square centimeters. I hope this video will help you solve similar types of questions in future. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media. Follow us on our Facebook Math Discussion Group where we will discuss different types of math questions on a daily and weekly basis. See ya!